morning, everybody. This is day two of the rally. But let's go back over here when we had two days up. It was on a Monday and Tuesday, and we made new lows. Now, we've had a three-day consolidation, two-to-one positive volume. We have the second day, just like we did here. The earnings season is coming out. As we said, these markets were going to move higher because this is the time of year where you get rallies every year. So, with all of the earnings coming on board now, we are rallying ahead of the Netflix report this evening. And we can see that 3811 is going to be that resistance right here. And at that point, it will be a make or break for this move. And I will tell everybody, keep tight stop losses. We bought these futures back over here at the lows when we had the big sell-off. And then we had the up day. And then we gap up today. That's called the second day confirmation. More upside. This will be the wall of resistance right here. If we clear it, then we have 3,900 up here that we're going to be watching very carefully on the E-mini S&P. The 50-day moving average is at 3,928. That will be the wall of resistance. First, we have to get past this hurdle right here. And we do know that rallies run higher when people are not in the market because the market has not been very good and they get two days up including a big gap up 76 points in the ES E-mini 500 futures. We will monitor that strong wall of resistance at 3811 and if we get past there well then we're looking at 38.90 on the S&P futures. That will be that trend line right up there in the wall of resistance. The volatility will get bigger as we move through the earnings season. This is the time of year when markets rally. These are bear market rallies. These are not bull market rallies. Bear market rallies can be very ferocious to the upside, just as they are to the downside. That's why we love bear markets. They make more money than bull markets.